Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities in Miniature. It's time for our weekly painting progress. And you'll see here we did finish off the second of our Savage Orchid Aro Champions. I uh, came out all right. I'm not happy. You can see there's some issues again with the spray can, but it's been very hot out here. So that's easy to fix up. Not anywhere near as bad as the Peculiar Companion Orcs that just got absolutely ruined. But you can see here in terms of size, while the male is obviously a little bit bigger, the female version is just as tough looking. And obviously when you have it in scale with a average human model, they are certainly impressive looking. Outside of her though, we didn't get a whole lot painted this week. Most of my free time was spent working on other projects and getting ready to go back to work, unfortunately, which I'm not super keen on, but it needs to be done and obviously we got bills to pay uh but i've also been working on creature casters big giant king of ruin and that's just been taking a lot of time there's a lot of space to cover i did however get to work on my kingdom death armor kits so i've got a set of white lion armor these are all modular uh, I broke down and finally, after years of owning the Kickstarter, went ahead and built everything up. Uh, they were a pretty horrid rush job in terms of getting everything painted, but it's done. And I think overall it came out okay. They're not fantastic. You know, there's definitely nicer versions out there painted. Eyes got kind of crappy. I attribute some of the problems to using a Agrax Earthshade gloss that seemed to kind of throw things off but for the most part I think overall they came out okay. I went very intentionally heavy on darkening them up and then building up from there but I liked the heavy shadows on them. And one of the males with his guitars. And in addition to the white lion fur, we also went ahead and got the screaming fur. Now, realistically, at the point I am in my current campaign, they're not using that kind of stuff. I built these guys pretty vanilla in terms of what kind of gear they're carrying. Obviously, I just wanted to keep as much on the, of the actual weapon sprue on there as possible. I continue to mess up his arrow there, and that's not fun. I figure I didn't want to build a bunch of archers, so I'll at least slap some bows and arrows on a couple of those models. I figured now that I've got at least a set of vanilla, plain, normal armor sets done, now I can go back and use up all of the multiples of the other sprues I've got and we can build up all kinds of crazy bizarre combinations and use some of the other fancy stuff that came with some of the sets like uh, uh, what is it, the Lion Knight and Slender Man's katanas and Manhunter's guns and things like that. So while not a gigantic pile of stuff, which some of these last few weeks of the summer I've been accustomed to having finished. Uh, overall, a pretty decent haul of stuff to be done regardless, so I am happy about that. Hopefully, you guys are all out there doing the same, getting everything painted, and hopefully next week we'll be back with a much longer video and much larger piles of loot that is done. I also ran out of the Dolco, which honestly didn't help, but no. Uh, it looks to be that my new printer should be arriving this week, so hopefully we'll be seeing a lot more 3D printed stuff showing up as well. Fingers crossed in that regards. Hopefully everybody out there is staying safe and keeping painting, and I will bid you all a fond farewell. This has been High Lord Tamberlay with Obscurities and Miniatures, saying thanks for watching. We'll see you back here soon. Bye-bye.